Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. Um, I am making a, another recipe from the third edition of the O Taste and Sea Cookbook. And tonight we are having Brad's chimichangas. And if they're good, they might just end up being Christy's chimichangas and Brad can, you know, whatever. Um, but the first thing you need to do is you need to prepare black beans with taco seasoning. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but um, you get a can of black beans and um, a tablespoon of taco seasoning. And I'm going to say that that means um, heat them up. I, I don't really know. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. So let me show you what I'm doing. Let's get down here. I've shredded up my Monterey Jack cheese. Another thing I'm not 100% sure on Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. Tonight we are having a Mexican themed night and I have already made two recipes out of the O Taste and Sea Cookbook. I made a cheese dip and a salsa um, and I'll link those to this video as well. But now I'm going to be making Brad's chimichangas. And if I like them, they might just be Christy's chimichangas and Brad can just forget about it. So um, you're gonna need a, a package of burrito sauce flour tortillas, fajita chicken, and I just get this. You're gonna need a pound of it. So this is um, the eight ounce bag. So I got two of those. I'm gonna heat those up. Um, a prepared pico de gallo. So you, I think I said that right. I'm not really sure, not 100%, I don't know. But um, I got this in the um, produce section at Walmart. Um, a package of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Um, I couldn't find a package, so I got a brick or block. Um, it was a pound, so I got a pound. Don't know if that's too much or not enough, but we'll figure that out later. A can of black beans, a tablespoon of taco seasoning, one onion sliced and sauteed, and a bell pepper sliced and sauteed. Got a red bell pepper, because I couldn't find a green bell pepper. So, or that was pretty, so I got the red one. So I'll do that in a minute. It says the first thing you do is you prepare your black beans. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Um, but it says to put, uh, prepare black beans with the taco seasoning. So what I am going to assume that that means is put a tablespoon of, of uh, taco seasoning in your black beans and I'm gonna put it on the stove, stir this up. I put it on the stove, get them warm. I think that's what that means. Again, not 100% sure, but we'll figure that out. Um, then you're gonna set those aside and then um, you're gonna put, well, let's get everything heated up first and then we'll come back and do everything else we gotta do. Okay guys, so everything is cooked and prepared and now it's just time to assemble. So let's get to it. So I've got my um, burrito shell and it says to, I've got my oil heated up and it says just roll up the desired ingredients and use metal tongs to deep fry in a, to a golden brown. Use leftover pico to garnish. So I, and I don't know how, like what order to do this in. So I'm just gonna do it in no really particular order at all a little bit more chicken in there. Okay, I'm gonna put some chicken and some black beans. I'm just gonna go ahead and put every little bit of everything in there because why not, right? So I got my red peppers and my onions and I like a lots of onions so I'm gonna put a little more onion in there. Um, I'm not, like I don't just normally eat pico at restaurants so I'm just gonna put very little in there. I'm always afraid it's spike, gonna be spicy, but this says it's mild, so we're gonna go with it and see if it's mild. So I'm not really 100% sure how to fold a burrito. I think you fold it like an envelope, kind of like. If I'm doing this wrong, don't don't laugh at me. Just tell me what I'm doing wrong, and then. I will know what I'm doing wrong and then I can fix it for the next time. But I think you just kind of roll it up like 
that that just doesn't look right okay I'm just gonna roll it up like that so and then whenever I put it in my oil I'm gonna put it seam side down to kind of get that um, fried together first so that whenever it doesn't just open all the way up so that is how I'm gonna put that in the oil so um, I'm gonna cook it and then I will come back and we'll do a taste test. Okay guys, I thought it was gonna be all slick and everything and do two at a not lot and do two at a time, but look at this. That one blew up. <laughs> And so now I've got, I don't know what I've got, so I'm going to bless. All right, y'all pray for me. Because now I've got that going on. So I'm going to save this one. I'm going to try to save that. No, it's still not done yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'll figure it out. Okay, so... One turned out okay. The other one blew up. So, I don't know. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna taste this. I put the cheese dip on top of it and it looks really, really good. I have to say that my husband's turned out a little bit more um, darker. Yeah, a little bit more darker, a little bit darker than mine did um, just cause I was afraid to um, cook it for too long. And after that one exploded, I was, I was more watchful of it. So I was like, well, I'll just keep it on there for a little longer. This one's a little greasy, but again, that's totally my fault. So, let's. Thanks, y'all. This is so good. He might not get his. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna officially change the name to Christie's Chimichangas. And, um, it's just going to be, they're just going to be back to you and be Um, if you like the recipe, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you haven't already subscribed to Sunday Potluck, please do so. It's a little hot. I don't know if you can see the smoke. Um, subscribe and, um, I'll link the cheese dip recipe and the salsa recipe to this recipe. And, um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.